to Name Tech Channel. My name is Nehemiah, uh, and I guess I'm glad to have you on board. So, guys, uh, we are beginning a series on the Python modules. But then, uh, before you begin, if it's your first time to get into this channel, please uh, consider subscribing, like, and share the video to your friends. And so, guys, uh, what is a Python module? So, guys, uh, basically, a Python module is a file containing a Python definition in the statements. And so uh, basically you can consider a module, a module to be the same as the, uh, the code library. So guys, uh, we are going to learn uh, several uh, Python libraries, uh, including this uh, NumPy. We are going to begin with the NumPy, uh, this uh, NumPy library. We shall also discuss uh, Pandas and uh, SciPy. And so uh, guys, you can always find the reference to this uh, course on my website, the Nemtech website, nemtech.com, Python, but uh, this is page 2. So just just go to the Python Python uh, page, and then I go to uh, the next page. Then you are going to find this uh, tutorial there. And so here, let's go through this introduction part of the uh, the NumPy. So guys, what is uh, this uh, uh, NumPy? So guys, uh, basically NumPy stands for Numerical Python, and uh, is a Python library used for uh, working with the arrays. I it also has the function for working uh, in domain of linear algebra, uh, Fourier transform, and uh, you know uh, the matrices. Now, uh, the reason we use uh, this uh, num NumPy, basically, guys, in Python we have a list that uh, serve the purpose of arrays, but uh, they are very very uh, slow to process. So uh, this uh, NumPy aims to provide an array object that is up to 50 times faster than the traditional Python list. So uh, the array object in NumPy is called uh, is called uh, ND array, and uh, it provides a lot of supporting function that uh, makes uh, working with the uh, ND array uh, very very uh, easy. So guys, uh, arrays are very very uh, frequently used in data science for those who are taking uh, this uh, uh, data science course. So where speed and uh, resources are very very uh, efficient. <laughs> And I guess uh, since uh, NumPy is a Python library, uh, you can write uh, partially on the Python. It can be written partially on Python, but uh, most of the parts uh, that are require fast uh, computation are written in the C or a C++ uh, program. And so, guys, uh, straight away, let me show you how you can install the this uh, NumPy into your uh, system. So, what you do, guys, are uh, using your you know your uh, your command prompt, the CMD or a power, a power, or a PowerShell. Let me use a CMD and then I guess uh, to install this. I remember for me I've already installed, but then uh, let me show you how you can install it. So to install this uh, NumPy, you can use ensure first of all before you install, ensure that you have uh, you have installed uh, the Python let the latest version and also the you know the PIP. Now once you have the Python and the PIP installed, then you can install what this uh, NumPy. So just say PIP uh, install. Uh, install uh, what? Install NumPy. NumPy. Uh, PIP is install uh, NumPy. And then uh, for me, you can see guys have already installed. But then now, uh, uh, if it's your, you have not installed, then it will install it for you. And then I guess uh, once you have installed this, uh, this, uh, you know, NumPy, and uh, you know, library, then I guess uh, we can install, we can open the text editor so that we may begin uh, straight away. So that I may show you how you can import and uh, use this uh, in our library. So what I'm gonna do is uh, just say uh, install. I hope you have installed Jupyter or you can use any text editor. But then uh, let me use uh, Jupyter. So let me say uh, let me say Ju Jupyter uh, notebook. Uh, Jupyter notebook. Then uh, let me uh, click in and allow it to uh, to open. So. Um, once you have opened that uh, Jupyter notebook, um, then uh, create new, uh, create new, and then uh, you can give it any name here. Uh, here at the top, you can uh, double, you can uh, just click here and uh, say, for example, NumPy. You can give it any name. And then uh, this is to uh, to rename. So guys, uh, let me show you how you can import. So guys, uh, to import, uh, to to import uh, this uh, uh, NumPy. And then I will use we add this uh, keyword uh, import. We say import um, import what we use this uh, keyword to import what this uh, module. So import uh, numpy. And uh, for example, let me create here a variable. Uh, let me say for example array uh, a r a double r for array. You can use any any name provided you don't use the you know the 
a building keyword in python and then i here you can see for example uh, numpy uh, guys i hope you can see on your end i don't know how to zoom in let me try to zoom in for you to see better yeah i think i guess you can see now and so here let me say uh, uh let me say this is numpy so dot array and then uh, i'm gonna use a list here so let me uh, a list is defined with the you know with these are square brackets then i can say for example one two you can say three you can say four you can as well use the string like um uh, name tech let me say name tech basically you can find name tech on all social social platforms um and uh, my name is or uh, let let it be the way it is and then now guys are to print you we use the print what function print so let me say print what print um uh, a uh, uh, these are a array r r basically you can use any other any other what any other you know variable name and then uh, now to run it we use this uh, run button this run button then uh, and then i guess you can see that uh, we have done what we have ended what this uh, list so guys uh, basically this is how you can import and uh, you can use this uh, you know and this uh, numpy so the introductory part uh, in the numpy so uh, in our next uh, class we shall discuss uh, you know much deeper but then uh, for now i think you've gained something please go ahead subscribe like and share the video to your friends and then next time this is nehemiah goodbye